Hello guys and welcome back to Red NFC Away Days, obviously I'm James, not joined today by Adam, as you can see uh, it's going to be a different video today, uh, we're going to get some reasons why Plymouth uh, might be able to pick up a shock victory against us, uh, yes yeah, from the Argyle Life boys, uh, so yeah if you want to go ahead and drop them a sub, drop them a follow on Twitter as well, a uh, big thank you, I know the guy was a little bit nervous about recording this video, uh, so um, please don't hate on him. Um, just go uh, follow him on Twitter as well, uh, great lad, um, yeah obviously big thank you to them, um, sorry it's a little bit late as well, there's a little bit of a delay issue coming out with this, so um, yeah no hate at all, go towards them, um, please don't, um, yeah they're a little bit nervous, just just, just forget about it, <laughs> alright so uh, yeah I hope you guys will enjoy it and uh, yeah I'll see you guys at the end. Okay so now we come to the part where we've got the reasons why Plymouth Argyle are going to beat Redden on Tuesday night. I want to say firstly, I think if we look at this realistically, uh, we aren't going to be favourites. Uh, there's reasons why we aren't favourites, but that's not what we're going to talk about because at the end of the day, it's not an impossible game for us. It's an even playing field and we have our own strengths that we will take into the game which hopefully could come out. And these are the reasons I think that we can win on Tuesday night. One. We had a heavy defeat on Saturday, so we'll be determined to put that right. Uh, so I think we'll go in with that extra bit of mo extra bit of motive, uh, more so from losing on Saturday. That will give us that extra oomph to go on and and uh, pull off the what people will see as a shock result. Two, we're better away from home. I think there's no question about that. Out of our thirteen defeats last season in the league. Eight of them come at home. Um, I don't know what the main reasons are for that. But I've got a fair idea. Maybe less expected to win. More pressure. Who knows. But but our uh, form has shown to be better away from home. So hopefully we can keep our away form going. And come back with a win. Three. We benefit from playing counter-attacking football. Uh, we'll definitely be doing that at Reading. I think there's no question about that. Reading will be favourites to to keep hold of the ball, and we're not going to be expected to uh, to go out and have to try and force these attacks. I think Reading um, will try and control the game. However, if they don't score early, I think that that could fall into our hands, and when they then come to force an attack, they could leave themselves open, and that could really benefit. From us, so I think that that will give us a huge, huge boost there. And for hopefully complacency as well. I mean, obviously that's a little less likely because they're a professional team. Red in, they obviously know anybody can beat anybody on their day. I mean, you've had results in the past where the lower league teams have benefited from playing higher teams because they thought that they were going to have a run in, and hopefully we'll give them more of a test than uh, they thought. So yeah. Um, with my uh, score predictions, I think it will be uh, it will be either way. I think if Reading score early, I think it could be a long night for us. Um, I think I saw in the previous video that uh, James and Adam done. If you watch it again, Reading away days. Uh, one of them said three one to Reading. One of them said three nil. I think I can do one better. I actually said that it would be four one to Reading, but I think that's me being a bit harsh on there. Uh, on the side but my predictions have been so wrong so far so hopefully I'll be wrong again uh, so those, those are the reasons that I think that we can cause a shock and beat Reading on Tuesday night so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video again massive thank you to Adam and James at Reading Away Days I'm Luke Petrovich of Argyle Life follow us on Twitter at Argyle underscore life uh, follow us on Facebook Give us your opinions of how this went. I do apologise if I've been a bit boring. Any critic, you've, any criticism you've got, feel free to comment so we can improve if we are to carry on doing this. Thank you. Enjoy the game on Reading. And Green Army! Right then, guys. So, again, a big thank you to the Argyle boys, uh, Argyle Life boys, for uh, doing the video for us. Um, yeah, it's a great little bit of knowledge. I uh, guess a bit of insight for Plymouth before obviously they come to the Medeski tonight. Um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, guys, go ahead and drop a subscribe. Don't forget to like it as well and comment what you think the score prediction will be for the game. Um, yeah, apart from that, there's nothing really else much to it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. We'll be showing our match day experience as we always do. So I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll be James. See you guys next time. Peace.